Hey guys, sorry for this late video, and yeah, that's all I have to say, and so today I'm going to do an overclock video, I'm going to overclock the Samsung Galaxy Y to 1.2 GHz. Okay, let's get started. First up, you have to download these files. There, those two files. PDA.tar ext4 underscore converter dot zip the pda dot tar should be on your computer also because you will need it to for odin we will flash it using odin okay so first up what we have to do is flash the new stock rom of dxlf2 we i'll just show you the version right now right there the dxlf1 sorry and the XLF2 right there. Yeah, that's all you have to do for now. And I suggest you root first because it's kind of hard to root after overclocking. So if you're rooted already, and as you see, I'm not yet overclocked because it says 832 megahertz on there. And yeah, so. We'll have to go to recovery mode, so I'll just switch off my phone. I'll go back. So, I'm back and we're going to reboot to recovery mode. To do that, let's go press the home button, volume up, and lock key, or power button. And let go. Okay, so first what we have to do is go into Clockwork Mod Recovery. There. So now we're in Clockwork Mod Recovery. We have to back up our ROM. So this will take some time. So I'll just go back when it finishes. Hey guys, I'm back. So it took kind of shorter than I expected but uh, okay uh, okay our backup is complete so what we're going to do now is go to install zip from SD card choose zip from SD card and go to that file the ext4 underscore converter dot zip so let's just flash it confirm confirm and yes and yeah, I'll pause the video again. Okay, so it has finished um, installing that zip file. So as you can see, there are a lot of error messages, I guess. Because E, I'm not sure. Maybe it's just an E partition. So if I, if I actually try to reboot, there's still more error messages. And it will not reboot. It will get stuck in the Samsung logo which is kind of bad but yeah it will get stuck in this logo so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the battery as so and put it back in so now we're going to go to download mode by pressing the vol home button volume down and power button at the same time So this is what you should see in download mode and so let's just put, press volume up what's wrong oh there so I'll be right back in my computer and to show you guys the next steps hey guys I'm back so we're now in download mode on our computer so I have the Odin folder in the background so I'm just going to plug my phone first Okay, let's leave that there. So I am using Odin version 304 Right there allow the program program and Yeah, it detects it right there when you see like a number calm the number it, it varies and Then so what we're going to do is remember that PDA file that you were supposed to download Yeah, so you're just going to click PDA. It's right here PDA.miruk.tar 
right there. So what we do is still still the same. So what we do is we just start it. Okay, and there it says a pass. All right, so I'll pause the video and go for the next steps. Okay guys, I'm back. So after it rebooted, it kind of got stuck to this um, charging screen. So what we're going to do again is remove the battery, plug it back in. Okay, so right now we're going to reboot to recovery mode again. There. Okay. So as you, see, you can see, I did not go to the regular recovery mode that the Samsung Galaxy Y has. This is the permanent clockwork mod recovery. So what we're going to do now is go to backup and restore. There. So remember that restore, that restore we did a while ago. So we're going to advanced restore. And this is the one we restored a while ago. And we're just going to restore system. Then, yeah, so I'll pause the video again after it restores. I'll go back. Okay, guys, so our restore has been completed. So we have to wipe data. And wipe cache just for the heck of it. <laughs> And wipe Dalvik cache. You know, this is just the usual stuff that you do. Then we should probably reboot. And I'll come back when it reboots, alright? Hey guys, so since we didn't um since we didn't restore the boot animation, it will not go to the boot animation with the Samsung thing and the you know those fancy stuff so we'll just be like this and we'll just turn on and vibrate automatically so we have rebooted successfully and yeah so I'll go back again I'm sorry uh, after I set up all the stuff and I'll show you that it has been overclocked hey guys I'm back again so I have configured everything already and I'm ready to show you guys that it has been overclocked let's just unlock it and as you can see right there maximum clock frequency is 1.248 gigahertz and now let's put minimum to the same thing so yeah guys that's how you Overclock your Samsung Galaxy Y to 1.2 gigahertz. I hope you enjoyed it and Thanks for watching. Oh, by the way, if you guys like my wallpaper, I got it from my Samsung Galaxy S3 and you can ask me and I'll probably post a video on it or a link Yeah Thanks again for watching guys subscribe and like this video